by far one of my favorite features in Write Tool is called Bulk Enter in the Bank Register. This works both in a credit card register and also in a bank register. The premise here is that I happen to have a spreadsheet that contains dates, pay name, account, memo, amount, class. I just happen to have a spreadsheet already with this information. And I don't want to use bank feeds. I just want to paste exactly what's on my spreadsheet into my bank or credit card register. So if you are in that specific situation, this is the feature for you. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to come in, in in QuickBooks and we're going to click on the bulk enter link on the top of the register. We're going to get a pop-up with a batch enters transactions window. And essentially we're going to either click and drag that CSV file that I showed you earlier, this one, we're going to click and drag the actual file in the computer into this box here where it says, paste or drop CSV, or just literally copy from the spreadsheet, whether it's Google Sheets or, um, or, or Excel, copy that, and there's about 34 transactions in there, and then we're going to paste that into that white box. And we have to paste it into that white box first, because we need right tool to double check that all the data is formatted correctly. You have to have a date column, a reference column, a payee column, an account column, a memo column, a payment column, a deposit column, or a credit in the, for, for credit card credits, and then a class and location if you're using class and locations. Here is a pen to memo. You can pick whether or not you want to add additional information into the memo. I just deleted it for a second. And here's just a quick double check of how many transactions, which is 34. So essentially, I'm going to click on bulk enter, and then all these transactions are going to be created in here for me. So every single transaction from the spreadsheet it's going to go little by little, one by one, and enter them all for me. Notice that you know it's done them all pretty much in one shot. So we're going to let that finish here. Then we're going to go into the balance sheet, and then we're going to go look for that account here. We created the account somewhere. Let's do all dates. We'll do all dates here. Click on Run Report, and then we'll go down to that account that was blank. It was completely blank before. It's called the new credit card. Let me click on that. And then we get to see all the transactions that were essentially pushed in here um, in one shot. So you look at this one called uh, Publix, Card Purchase, uh, Uncategorized Expense. Let's br bring the spreadsheet over here. And that's going to be here somewhere. There we go. Publix, Uncategorized Expense, 137 overhead costs. So very, very clearly, all the information that was in my spreadsheet came in here. And you saw that that took seconds. Okay. Let's do the same example in the bank register, but with a bank account. There's a slightly different uh, workflow with this. So let's pick this um, account here. Let's pick this one called the wrong account. Oh, there's a bunch of transactions in there. Let's create a new one. It might be easier. Let's create one bank account called, we'll call it brand new account. So brand new account from zero. Okay, click on save. Okay, there we go. And we're going, going to the register. Same thing, blank new account from zero. There's going to be a slightly different workflow here because if you use your reference numbers, so the second column here, it, it will indicate whether or not the data that we're importing is going to be a check or a expense. So I'm going to show you. We're going to bring the same information in here. I'm just going to grab these last six and, uh, and copy it. Now, notice that the first three don't have numbers. The last three do have numbers. And you're going to see how that behavior changes a little bit when the data gets put into uh, QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to click on Bulk Enter. And then I'm going to paste that information in there. And um, you're going to notice that some have reference numbers and some don't. We're going to click on Bulk Enter. And it's going to enter six transactions for me. And notice that the ones with a number, if I go open them, it's an actual check transaction. So it identifies the number as a ch check transaction. If I X out of that and look at one that doesn't have a number, edit it, it identifies that as an expense transaction. So that's the bulk enter, we'll go in here into the settings here. That's this bulk create in register in right tool. So hope that's gonna be helpful for you.